As we have seen in the film, basic principles of somatic ODK 1500S, the somatic ODK supports you in the development of dynamic link libraries, which you can call up directly from the user program of the S7 1500 software controller. In this film, we will learn how to create an ODK application in a real-time environment and examine all the relevant work steps. The Eclipse software is used as the development environment for real-time applications. This software is already available in the somatic ODK scope of delivery. Please note that in order to use the software, you need a Java runtime environment on your engineering PC. Somatic ODK provides a C++ template for Eclipse that is already fully functional and contains all the necessary interfaces and folders. Thus you can begin immediately with the definition and implementation of your application. But let us take a hands-on look at the template. To do so, we switch to Eclipse and create a new project based on the template. You'll find the project under File, New, Other, in the section ODK 1500S, Templates. We select the project, assign a project name, and apply our template. In this template, there are two important files for you. For one thing, in the DEF section, the ODK file. This file contains all relevant routine characteristics of the ODK application and defines the interfaces and functions. And for another thing, in the SRC section, your project file. The CPP file contains the entire function code. The template is already fully functional at this time and can be compiled. We now want to perform this compilation process so that afterwards I can show you how you can continue to work with the compiled files, the SCL file and the SO file. We compile the project and then look in Windows Explorer to see where our executable files are located. Here, under our project name in the Step 7 folder, we find our SCL file for TIA portal. In the Release folder, we find our SO file, which we need to load onto the software controller afterwards. We now integrate our generated SCL file in the TIA portal as an external source. To do so, we search for the appropriate entry in the project folder and add the SCL file as a source. Using this SCL file, we now have the system generate our function blocks for calling up the ODK application or for calling up our functions. We find the function blocks here in the Program Module folder. You can now connect these function blocks and integrate them into the routine of your program. With that, we now have covered all the relevant work steps to creating an ODK application in the real-time environment. To conclude this film, I would like to show you another example of a real-time development that we can use to sort an array of numbers. Based on this example, we can once again touch on the key points in ODK development. We see here in the TIA portal our generated function blocks, and here in OB1, the integration in our control program. In Network 1, for example, we find the ODK load module used to load our ODK application. This is followed by the individual functions, in our example sorted in ascending or descending order, and at the end there is the ODK unloading function block used to end the ODK application.
With the help of the web server, we have already loaded our executable SO file into the internal RAM of the CPU of the software controller. Let us once more review the procedure for this. We established a connection to our web server in our web browser, and here in the applications at the bottom selected the entry File Browser. Here we jump to the ODK 1500S directory and via the Browse button, select our relevant SO file and load it into the internal RAM of the CPU via the Upload File button. Please make sure in advance, however, that in the web server settings, you have assigned the necessary user rights in your TIA project and that you have also activated the web server. To test our sample program, we have established an online link to the controller, and we are now controlling our application in the TIA portal based on the monitoring table. Here we sort the entries in ascending order, and we see here at the bottom in the three lines that our original order of 12, 5, 5876 has now been sorted in ascending order.